What is up guys and welcome back to another video and today we have breaking news that just broke out literally a couple of minutes ago on Instagram. It has been confirmed that Paul Heyman is the new executive director of Monday Night Raw as well as Eric Bischoff being the new executive director of Smackdown Live. This is big news and let me tell you why. And the first reason why I think this is going to be super successful is that they are creative geniuses. We all know Paul Heyman had ECW back then in 1998 and 1999, and he was doing pretty well. He was building up a brand from the bottom up, and also he had a lot of pay-per-view buys. But aside from that, he also had a SmackDown gig in 2002 through 2004, and he literally made some of the best content ever in terms of wrestling, as well as really cool storylines. You had the SmackDown 6 getting opportunities, you had The Undertaker, Brock Lesnar, Chavo Guerrero, and it seems like we have a similar pool of talent. We have a lot of talent in the WWE now, so I do see Paul Heyman pushing a lot of young guys and Eric Bischoff we all know who he is he used to run WCW during the Monday Night Wars so this clearly means he knows exactly how to run a brand and he also was beating WWE in the ratings for 83 straight weeks and he ignited the entire NWO storyline which was one of the greatest things ever happened obviously it didn't end too well but it did have a good run and a lot of people were interested in that entire story Another reason why this is great for all WWE fans is that it will lead to Vince McMahon hopefully having less decisions. Vince McMahon is out of touch, he's too old, he doesn't know what's good now, and he's just producing some of the worst work of all time. So I think this is great because Eric Bischoff and also Paul Heyman can just do their own work. They can go to Vince McMahon and be like, yo, this is good shit, and then Vince McMahon can be like, yeah, you're right, and then that's how we can produce good stuff. I think honestly Vince could focus more on XFL as well. I do wish Triple H would be the one that they would report to because I think Triple H knows exactly how to run a company in 2019, but this is better than nothing. This is better than this man making decisions, and this is clearly going to be something different, so hopefully it works out well. And finally, the last reason why this is super great news and why I'm excited is that they both envision the future, and I think they will be pushing all these new guys. As of late, we've been seeing a lot of old talent like The Undertaker, Goldberg, and Shane McMahon in the spotlight, and we need to stop with all that BS. Like, we do not need to see it anymore. We have so many great talents, and I think this is great news for the new superstars such as Buddy Murphy, Mustafa Ali, Alistair Black, Andrade. There's so many people that will have a door open now because of this decision. But before I do get ahead of myself, I know I'm looking at the positives. This can only work. If Vince McMahon truly gives them power, if Vince McMahon lets them do their own thing and actually allows them to create good stuff, I don't want to see Vince McMahon getting very hands-on try trying to tell them what's right, what's wrong, what they should do, blah, blah, blah. No, he needs to just see and let them do it, you know? He needs to just let them do it and let them rock because I believe they know what's up. Also, I think we need to end the wild card rule and have two separate brands because if two separate people are going to be executive directors, the feel is going to be super different and you can't have two of the storylines coexist and go from Monday Night Raw to SmackDown because there might be confusion, there might be different tones. I just think we should end it and let the two shows be completely different. Overall, I'm going to be tuning into Monday Night Raw and SmackDown Live to see if they actually change. If, they, if I don't see a change, I'm probably not going to be excited. And it might take a little longer than expected, so we will see what happens. Now I just want to really quickly talk about why I think this is happening. I think there's a collective amount of reasons. First of all, I think it's because AEW, yes, I don't care what anyone says, I think AEW is real competition and WWE sees that. But aside from that, also the attendance and the ratings are super low, so Vince McMahon clearly sees that he needs to create a change. So that's another reason, that's probably the biggest reason. And finally, I heard that there was a rumor that Fox wanted a meeting with Vince McMahon and WWE because the ratings are low and they're not impressed with the numbers. So hopefully this shakes things up. This is the greatest thing we could hear this summer. The only thing that could be better is, is if Vince McMahon retires. I honestly believe that. But this is a step in the right direction. Hopefully it just leads to Vince McMahon retiring sooner than later. Well, let me know all your thoughts in the comments below and I'll interact and comment back so we can all discuss what we think about this topic. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.